not from the, just the standpoint that I enjoyed playing. Like I enjoyed being there. Um, I enjoy getting better. But as a leader of a team, it's also your responsibility to elevate the rest of the guys. And what people tend to get stuck on a lot is saying, okay, the way to make players better is to pass them the ball when they're open. That's a very trivial way to look at things. What you have to do is you have to get them emotionally to want to be better. You, want, you, you have to get them to an emotional space where they wake up every morning driven to be the best version of themselves, right? How do you do that? And in practice, for me, it was a chance to, to drive them, to challenge them, right? If they're, and this is where you have to know your teammates because if it's late, we just had a back-to-back -back and we had practice the next day and you show up and guys don't feel like going through the motions, don't feel like practicing, it's important to know each and every one of them individually, personally because then you know what nerve to touch. Some guys, it's like, okay, come on, let's, you know, we can do this, that'll get them going. Other guys, no, you gotta figure out what button to push. You know, Powell was always Spain. If I tell them how they lost in a gold medal to us and how they're gonna lose again, how I'm gonna beat your ass in practice, just like I beat you in a gold medal game, oh, that, oh, he would hate that. <laughs> He'd hate that. But that's what practice was, you have to drive them, you absolutely have to. And if practice is more intense and harder than a game seven will be, then a game seven will be easy. But if it's not, then that's when teams start folding and capitulating. You know, you actually, it's a perfect segue to, uh, you know, how to create a high performance culture with coaches and team leaders. You know, everybody's sort of got to be on that page of helping you become the best version of yourself. Speaking of that, we have someone who'd like to ask you a question from Seattle. Please roll this question. tough, but I, I, I just, I'd kill him, I'd bury him. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, you know, tolerance for that and the, the kind of culture that the Laker organization stood for winning championships is not tolerated. You're going to show up to play and you're going to lollygag through this scrimmage, through this drill. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to let you know I beat you. I'm going to want you to reconsider your professional life choice. It was championships or nothing. And they were really good about identifying that and bringing players in here that had that competitive streak and you know, getting rid of the ones that did not. If I got a fight to get you in the gym, that's a problem. That's a problem. You want players that are gym rats, players that want to be in the gym, that want to work. And then from there, you build on top of that. But if you're lazy, man, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. You're going to make me feel dumber. You know, <laughs> you know, you're going to lower my level. I don't think so. You can go over there. You find what that answer is, you stay true to that. You know, I've built a brand for the last 20 some years, personal brand, which is great. But that is not where our focus is going to be for the next 50 years. It's what we are doing now. Are we taking a big risk? Yeah. But I think that if we focus on one thing and do that one thing exceptionally well, we won't fail at that one thing. So sometimes you got to put the other stuff to bed and focus on what you believe is, is, uh, is the core of the company. And that always starts from what you love to do the most. So let's focus on, on Granity. Uh, Bryant Stiebel Partners is a, primarily a venture fund investment, early stage and growth stage companies. Your partner, Jeff Stiebel, very experienced investor. Um, you guys had some wins already with some great companies, but I want to spend some time on Granity because I think that's sure. where most of your, your creativity is expressed. Um, 